Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be designing this part. I'm not sure what the name is, so, um, but I do know it is a millimeter. So start a new part file and change your units to millimeters. And I'm just going to go to units, millimeter, and click OK. So looking at this part, we're just going to start by drawing this cylinder. So that's like the top plane. So click on the top plane, um, sketch and draw two circles something like that and the first the diameter of the first circle is going to be 32 and that is this one the outside one and the inside one is going to be 22 so 22 good and click OK and now we're just going to go to our feature extrude and you want to extrude it up um, the, the, the whole distance is 60 but from here to that face is 40 so that's what we're going to do extrude it up 40 going up and direction 2 the rest of it is going to be 20 so we're just going to extrude it 20 going down and click OK So because of the way we made it, so now we still have our top plane. Our top plane is still, where our top plane is, is where this face is. So clicking on our top plane, sketch, number two. And we are going to draw something like this. Just draw a line back here, um, something like that. And you draw the same thing on this side and just connect everything make sure everything is connected and now draw a center line from the origin point down and make sure this point and this line so when you click that point and that line you hold the control key selecting this point end point and this line click select the mid plane so this is me in the middle or and make this line a construction line so we just need to add a couple of dimensions from here to here is 40 which is right here um, the distance is 60 and all we need to do is make sure select this outside edge and convert entity and select this line and this circle make sure they are tangent select this line and this circle also make sure they are tangent and we need a dimension and from the from the the center point from the center point which is right here to the back edge is 70 so from the here to this back edge uh, is 70 so this side is fully defined to make to make this side the same what you have to do is click this line holding the control key click this line and clicking the center line make sure this line is a construction line and when you have that the symmetric option comes up and you can make those two symmetric and so now that is fully defined so I'm just going to trim this outside edge off so I have something like that so now go to your feature extrude uh, you want to extrude it down and it is 10 and that will be right here 10 and click OK so click on this back edge and you're gonna draw a sketch number two and draw a corner rectangle so instead of a center a corner rectangle from this corner and just draw something like that now make this line and this edge uh, collinear and the, di the distance is 30 the, the this dimension is 30 and so that is fully defined we can add these two circles so that's what we're going to do just draw two circles somewhere over here and make sure this the center select the center and make sure they are horizontal to each other select both circle make sure they are equal to each other and now we can add this dimension from the bottom down is 10 to the center to the bottom is 10 um, from this edge to that edge is going to be 15 we 
which is right here and from the center of this circle to the center of that circle is going to be 30 and we need to add the dimension the diameter for this circle is 12 so our sketch is fully defined again we're going to feature extrude the different in the opposite direction going in 10 which is right here and click OK good so again click this top face sketch number two um, yeah, using your corner rectangle just draw something like this again so make sure this line is collinear with this edge and this line is collinear with that edge so your, your rectangle is in there so um, they only give you the dimension of here which is 8 so if this is symmetrical and this is 8 so this length will be 16 so we'll make that 16 and the distance from the this edge to that edge is 14 so we're going to from here to here is 14 our sketch is fully defined we're going to go feature extrude cut we want to extrude, extrude cut it down 3 and click OK So the next thing we need to draw is this circle. So you can use the whole wizard for that. Whole wizard um, position. And you want to select this face and just add three points. So once you add the three points, press escape key. And now select those points. Holding the control key, select all three points and make them horizontal to each other and once we make them horizontal we want to also add a dimension from this edge to one of those points which is eight so that centers it over there and the distance from this point to that point is 20 and the distance from this point to this point is also 20. so we have 40 and so it doesn't really tell you but since this is 2020 so this side will be 10 and this side will be 10 so we're just going to add another dimension over here which is going to be 10 or you could make this point and your origin point because of the way we made it vertical so i can delete so you can make it vertical it will be the same thing but we are going to just use the dimension so um or yes let's use the dimension instead of if i delete this dimension and make it vertical it will still give me the same thing so once we have that go into your type and you want to and it's just a hole so select this option and you want to change that this down to metric and change this to its drill drill size and just look for um, a six so the your hole size is a six so I'm just gonna go down find number six and and I'm just going to so your hole is going up to next and that's what you want and click OK good so click on this top face sketch um, number two and just draw um, you we can use a center rectangle or yes let's use a, um, a center rectangle and just draw something in here just like that Click this line and this origin point and make them midpoint and just bring this up. The distance, the dimension is 6, so this is 6. And holding the shift key, so this is how you add this dimension. From the back of this circle to the top is 25. So to add that dimension, hold the shift key down and when you are in your dimension, click this circle on this back side and click this front part and that should give you that dimension and that is 25 and our sketch is fully defined we're going to go feature extrude cut um, true all and up to the bottom and click OK good and the last one we need to uh, cut is this part so all we need to do is again on this top face sketch um, we can also draw a center rectangle somewhere over here make sure this center point and this origin point are horizontal to each other 
and the dimension is 6 and this doesn't really matter so you just need this sticking out so I'll make this line and this point coincident with each other and I'm just going to drag this out somewhere out here and just give it a dimension let's do 25 so once you have something sticking out and you're just going to feature extrude cut and it is going to be 7 and click OK and I'm just going to improve my image quality because I always like doing that I feel like it always slows things down and and if I go to isometric view and there you have this part anyway thank you and if you have any question please just leave a comment uh, thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye